what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i'm going to teach you how to find the area of an irregular shape so as you can see we have this kind of really crazy looking shape here so the trick to these is just trying to break it down into a way that you can see shapes that you already know how to find the area up right so for example let's start on the top left over here so we can see that this distance right here is two and this distance is also two okay so if i drew a little dotted line here you can see that oh actually this looks like a square and we know how to find the area of a square right so here we could see that the this area and i'll just kind of shade it like that in blue uh, this area would just be two times two which is equal to four and whatever our units are if we we're using inches we would write inches squared or if you're using feet it'd be feet squared meters meters squared you get it here i'm just going to say four units squared Okay, so where else can we find some shapes that we know how to find the area of? Well, here you can see that we have this big curve and it tells us that the center of this curve or the circle is right here, right? And it tells us that the radius is two. Okay, so what if I just drew a straight line through the center of this circle, of this curve? And let's just say I drew it straight down this way. Okay, to the, this point right here. Okay, well then you can see that this is just a semicircle, right? Half a circle. So how do you find just the area of a circle? Well, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, right? So here the area would be equal to pi times the radius squared, and the radius is equal to two, right? So then that would be two squared, and two squared is equal to four. So the area of the circle would be pi times four, or in other words, just four pi, right? But we don't have the whole circle here. We just have half the circle. So what's half of four pi? Well, half of four pi would just be two pi, right? So then the area right here of this semicircle would be equal to two pi. And you could multiply that out. So pi is equal to approximately 3.14. So you could plug in 3.14 right there and multiply it by two, or you could just use the pi button on your calculator, which I would highly recommend. And you would get that this is approximately equal to, I'll write approximately equal to 6.28. So the area of the semicircle is 6.28 units squared, right? Now, what else can we break down here? Well, here you can see that we have this corner, the sharp corner, so it looks like a triangle, right? So what if I just extend that line right there Okay, because it tells us that the dimensions here uh, from this line to the end over here to the corner is three units. And then it tells us that the height, basically from here up to here, is one unit. Okay, cool. Well, we know how to find the area of a triangle, right? The area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So here the area of this triangle would be one half the base. So here it the base is three and the height is one, right? So three times one. Now three times one, that's just equal to three. So then the area here is equal to one half times three and half of three is equal to 1.5. So the area of this triangle is 1.5 units squared, right? Now, lastly, you can see we have the big empty space right here, this big rectangle, right? because we already found the area here, we found the area here and the triangle. So all we have left is this big rectangle. So as you can see, it says that this distance, the width down here is equal to four. And then what's the height? Well, it tells us that this distance right here is three, right? But we also know this distance, right? It's two. Right, because we know that this is just a square up here. So if this distance is two, right, if this distance is two, then that means this distance right here would also be two. So what's the total height of this big rectangle? Well, two plus three is equal to five, right? So the whole height of the triangle is five and the width down here is four. So to find the area of this rectangle, we would simply do five times four which is equal to 20, and that would be 20 units squared, right? So now that we found the area of all the little shapes individually, now we just have to add them all up, right? So the 
area of the square was again four, so we're gonna do four, plus the big rectangle is 20, so plus 20, and then the semicircle was 6.28, and lastly, the triangle was 1.5. Okay, so if we add these all up, we'll get that this is equal to approximately 31.78 units squared, right? So that's the total area of this whole irregular shape. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.